Okay, let's try that again. Thank you for your patience. Uh, if you were on with me just before, then I was having some technical difficulties uh, with my phone. And so thank you so much for um, yeah, your patience. And as you're hopping on with me, I'd love to know where you're tuning in from. And if you're watching the replay, just give me a hashtag replay. <sighs> Beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, I, I really wanted to talk today about empaths and our unique abilities as empaths, okay? Hi, okay, I can see your comments. Nice. <laughs> oh, hi, Davika. Hi, Victoria. Awesome. Okay, so this is working more now. Um, so yeah, we did start the conversation a little bit ago, but we'll start again. And I really want to hear from you if you're an empath, especially uh, because, yeah, we are all really different, okay? Yes, empathy and to be an empath is to feel other people's emotions as your own, right? Put your hand up if you're like, that's a pretty solid and secure definition of an empath, and that's what I experience. That's kind of the Haley Freya Wilson uh, definition of an empath, is that we feel energy as our own in our body, okay? Uh, and... I'd love to hear from you what your experience is around that. Is you, you being an empath a, a new idea? Have you known it for a really long time? Are you sick and tired of being an empath? <laughs> Are you like, have, have you come to peace with it and you're like using your abilities for a purpose? I'd love to hear from you. <clears throat> Victoria says, <laughs> Victoria says, absolutely. And Hannah says, and we're back. <laughs> Again, thank you for being patient with me. Yes, <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah, because we are all, we're all really different. And I am in a really um, privileged place to be a coach for empaths. I'm an intuition coach and I'm a general in like life coach for empaths because... <sighs> Because I'm an empath, <laughs> and it took it took me a long time to kind of come to terms with that, to understand that, and it helps for us as empaths to have another empath to talk about our emotions with, okay? And if you're an empath, you probably had an experience where someone looks at you and they're like, they think that you're nuts because they don't understand why you're having such a powerful empath like emotional reaction to something like I had this the other day where have you ever been in an empath hole and this is a Haley term so you probably haven't <laughs> but it's one of those moments or days where you're just you're just in it and you're just feeling everything and everything makes you cry and it's that like little tweak I don't, and I don't, and I don't know how else to explain it. And this is why I I do what I do, right? Because I love to see and absorb and collect data from other people about their own experiences. Why do I do that? First of all, because I love it. Second of all, I'm a genetic engineer, and it's kind of part of my psyche to to collect information and data. And third, it helps me be a better life coach um, for empaths because I can understand the different nuances between every, like every person, right? Um, and so, yeah, if you've ever been on one of these days where you're just like, just, okay, that's it, I'm emotional. Everything is going to make me cry. I'm just, I'm just emotional. And for me, it's this kind of little, little it's a little twinge that I get in my body and let me just tune into where yes it's my heart but it's also my solar plexus and my gut that's just like oh okay today is going to be a day and there's no coming out of it and that's okay okay but if you haven't quite come to the terms of it yet you might have one of those days where you're like ah I'm emotional I don't know and I don't know why and I'm panicking and I have no one to talk to <laughs> right that that's that's the difference let me just see I have to scroll down for the <laughs> Tamika says lol and Hannah says oh god yes <laughs> uh, so this is why I'm trying to do it on my phone so I don't have to like scroll down for the for the comments but that doesn't matter um, so yeah I'd love to you know, I'd love to hear from you 
how you experience those days of just like, oh God, it's going to be a day. <laughs> Cause yeah, like I said, I had one the other day and I don't judge myself for having those days anymore. Okay. Luckily I've given myself the space and the knowledge and the understanding of myself to be like, oh, okay, all right, that's it, go cry, you cry. And I cried all day and I actually, I posted on my Facebook because I'm no longer ashamed of those days. I'm no longer ashamed of having emotions, okay, because I have come to terms with them. Um, and actually by sharing my story online, it helps other empaths see me, right? as a human and that we're allowed to be vulnerable okay and so here's a little extra little tip here that i didn't say but i am currently living in vancouver and i have a, a, a roommate and she is not an empath okay and so she walked in on me and she was like <laughs> what's going on <laughs> what happened right that's the classic topic that's the classic question what happened and i'm like nothing just i'm just having a day i'm just having an emotional day and she was like huh like really couldn't understand i couldn't understand and that's totally fine as well right but then what i did is i used all of my tools to let it all out okay and here's what i want to talk about a little bit is that when we're an empath and we've been told our entire life that we're too emotional we're too much we, we have too big highs and too big lows and we right and stop crying There's, you've got nothing to cry about and cheer up and everything's going to be fine and it's okay and blah, blah 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 okay we internalize that and then we start judging ourselves for having emotions okay and then so what i've done is i've done a lot of healing work around that judgment okay and removed all judgment and i actually know that my emotions are here to a teach me something and b to be released okay because as empaths, again, like if we're every single day, if you're resisting having those emotions and allowing them out, that's when you have these really big days, okay? And it's when you have, it's when you feel the sadness kind of all the time, okay? So rather than just having a big release or having the high, like the, 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 the nice highs and then the nice lows, right? And then the balance, we tend to just be in resistance all the time and it's struggle street. And it's this feeling of being stuck. I'm feeling stuck all the time and I can't get out of it. And I'm like, I just want to sleep. I don't even want to eat. I just want to block myself out and I want to hibernate and ah, let me know if you know what I'm talking about. Mm. Okay. It shows up as anxiety, as overwhelm, the need to scream, bipolar. We get we get told that we're bipolar. I get told that too. Yeah, people are putting their hands up a lot. They know that they, they know what I'm talking about here. And so that's why I I love to teach empaths how to accept themselves. First of all, right? First of all, how to accept yourself and how to stop. And here's what I really want to talk about. Stop sucking in everyone else's negative energy and emotions. Okay. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about and you can kind of feel and what, what it feels like sometimes is like it's a sucking and absorbing. Okay. And it can also feel like, ah, you know, when you see someone who's suffering and you kind of, you, you almost, you reach out to that suffering because you want to taste it. Okay. And that's where the resistance is, right? If we live in our life, resisting our attraction to darkness. Oh, okay. So here's opening up, up, up a whole different can of worms here. Okay. Empaths tend to be a little bit attracted and seduced by sadness and suffering. Okay. It's why we kind of, yeah, we latch onto people and we're, we, we tend to be saviors, right? Because, Ooh, that person's suffering. I'm going to align myself with them. Okay. And it's this resistance, right? Like to be in the light is just to resist my dark. When I, when I realized that was happening and that's why I felt this constant 
struggle within myself, this like, ah, oh, this push pull, I can't move, I'm stuck. Okay, it's because I realized that I thought that to be happy was to resist being sad and it's not. It's just not. Hmm. I'm just letting that settle because we are, we are talking about a, quite a few different things at the same time here, which is absolutely perfect. I'm just going to check in here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Greg says well, we absorb it like it's our job. Um, but it's not our job, not so ever. Yes, how to stop absorbing it. Once in a while I get caught off guard by a new story and I feel it deeply, absolutely. Exactly, okay. And so here's what I wanna know, Kenna, is how, is how? How do you feel it and where do you feel it in your body? This is what I would love to talk about, okay? Because by putting your awareness on how you're doing it is the first step to understanding it. Okay, so for me, it's, I, I, I said this earlier in the, the last live, but I'm gonna say it again. I experience my empathy quite a bit in my body as an attraction or a repulsion, okay? And we are attracted and repulsed by different things, and that's for a reason, okay? Um, so, for example, Greg and I were having a little conversation before about numbers, and he was repelled by a certain number, and I was attracted to the certain number. <laughs> and, and for what reason, right? And it's just how our body and our empathy and our energy and our consciousness because it's all connected, responds to certain things and why, okay? And so when you are like, when you're in that moment of like, I'm presented with someone suffering and I'm like, I feel it deeply. For me, it's like, it's a twinge deep. It's in my heart space and it's in my stomach and it's in my womb, okay, as I tune into it. And it's like a, ooh, there's some, there's, there's a chance for suffering here. Uh, it's a, it's, it's, it's almost like a, mm, it's my darkness coming out and being like, ooh, that's gonna feel really good, <laughs> uh, right? But then tuning into that, I can understand why I want to experience that suffering, and then have a choice: Do I actually want to experience that suffering? Is it in my highest good? Okay, and then let the darkness experience it without it overwhelming, right, my entire present consciousness. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, and Victoria is in her heart. Hannah says it's always deep in my chest and solar plexus. Davika says heart, head, solar plexus. Carol says it's a heaviness. It's why I got so comfortable in my sickness. Yes, oh my gosh. Thank you so much for joining in this conversation because I'm absolutely loving. And isn't it, okay, isn't it lovely to be able to talk to someone <laughs> about these experiences? <laughs> it's, it's so important and it's so key to have somewhere to express without judgment, like, <sighs> just, gonna, just, just turning into an example here now. Okay, perfect. I'm going to give you the, the last example that I, that I felt this. Uh, I was driving through a town that had experienced a major flood recently. And this devastation, okay? The roads were ripped up. So the buildings were torn down. And I felt that, like, the, uh, the opening, the, like, ooh, right? And, and we, we consciously, that my, my conscious was like, oh, my gosh, people... People have lost their homes and they've maybe lost their lives and the amount of damage that this has done. And like, you know, I, I, I disguised it as like care. But then when I like checked in with myself, it was actually like the, this like, oh, there's darkness here. This devastation has happened and it's suffering and I get to experience it. Okay. And that was deeper, deeper in my stomach. And the invitation here, right, <laughs> is to start checking in with yourself when you have these reactions, right? And, 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 okay, 
The reaction could have been like panic. Oh my God, these poor people and the poor earth and these poor workers and thank God for these workers and oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, but that was just, that was one route that I could have gone down. Another route I could have gone down was like, fuck, we are, we, humanity are just such a horrible disease on this planet and see the planet wants to destroy us. And the, the, like the, the planet is trying to destroy us and, you know, oh, and the, you know, it's probably climate change and it's probably and the work that we've done somewhere else, like, ugh, got into the anger of it. You see, do you see like the different nuances that we get to choose to go down when we're experiencing this like empathetic hit? I'm just letting that drop because, right? Does that make sense? <laughs> and again, the experience that you do actually have, you get to choose by putting your awareness on all the different nuances and layers of emotions going in on your body and the thoughts that are accompanying it and where they sit in the body, okay? So what I did as I drove through this place was like, yes, I had care for the people and yes, I had compassion for the workers and yes, I had compassion for the earth, but I also chose to understand myself a little bit deeper rather than going down those rabbit holes. I'm just going to check in with the comments here. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Okay. Hi, hi, puppy. Uh, there was a, Hannah says there was a, there was a postpartum story in Boston about six months old, uh, about six months ago, and I felt like I could hear her screaming. Yeah, okay, okay. So thank you, Hannah, for that, because that's a perfect place to start this next kind of part of this conversation. <sighs> that is a mechanical technique. It's an energetic technique that you are able to tap into, okay? So you had the, the empathetic hit, okay? Boop, and you, and you opened and portal is not quite the right word, but I'm going to use the word portal. You opened up a, you opened up a portal, okay? Because actually that's what empaths do. And we can talk about that in a bit. Shook. And then you were able to tap into that experience, even though you weren't having it, even though you weren't there, right? You, that is a psychic ability. Empathy is a psychic ability, by the way. So you opened up your ability and you're able to hear the screaming. Okay. And so while, while feeling that person's experience as your own and hearing the suffering, the screaming, and like, you know, accepting and absorbing that energy as your own, like Greg was saying, like, it's almost like we feel like it's our duty, like to take, to take that suffering from someone else. Okay. So rather than to do that, because that's not in your highest good, I promise you it's not, it's not our job to transmute anything. <laughs> okay. We think it is, but it's not. Okay. So how about you close that portal off, send compassion. Absolutely. Have compassion for that person close it down. But now what you've done is understand a psychic ability that you have. Now, the next part of this is what are you going to do with it? <laughs> right? You have the ability to open up a portal and receive energy as information as in that case, sound, right? So what do you, are you going to use this power for? That's the next part. Okay. <laughs> And so I'm talking about this today because yes, I'm launching a program next month. Okay. I'm very transparent about this. I'm launching a program. It's called making love and money <laughs> because I, I just think it's cute. Uh, and it's all about empaths and we're, and I'm teaching a three-step process. Okay. The first one is how to stop sucking it all in. Okay. How we are and, and how you are, not we in, as a general population, but how are you in particular? When you have those empathetic hits, how are you opening up your awareness, right? How are you opening up those portals? And how many portals, portals do you have open right now? Because I, I promise you it's probably quite a lot because we're doing it subconsciously. Um, and 
how many of those portals are sucking our energy out and how many of those portals are we sucking negative energy in because we think that it's our purpose Ooh, just that just that could be a program to be honest <laughs> okay so how what are the mechanicals and how does it feel in the body as we're doing it so that we can have our awareness come down how are you doing it what's your modality what's your technique what are the mechanics that you are working with okay first one. Second one is to, to kind of come to neutrality kind of close everything down and just be present just for a fucking heartbeat <laughs> All right to come to some peace and again that might be enough for quite a few people like ah oh, just rest I'm just coming to a place of rest coming to a place of void so that I can like you know start to know who I am what my emotions are um, and what my personal experience is and, and, and not everyone else's experience what's what's Haley's experience okay that's the second step the third step is to okay so now we're gonna kind of flip the switch understand those mechanics and then open some portals for a purpose and it's a and it's a personal purpose okay and that's why I've called it making love and money because what we actually get to do is rather than like sucking in negativity why let's instead project out and and resonate at the frequency of like love and joy and freedom and abundance right and attract that in using the very gifts that you felt were a burden at the start it's a little bit it's a little bit mad mad scientist and actually <laughs> I downloaded this when I was driving past the the flood okay so what I did when I was driving past the flood was be like oh I'm aware of this oh I'm aware of that oh I'm aware of that let's take a look at that and then all of a sudden it was like Voof. <laughs> So, okay, so if you're interested in that program, please do reach out, of course. Um, let's see, I'm just checking in here. Okay. So Natasha says, uh, yes. Martin Hyde says, believe in yourself. Carol says, I shut it all down and now I'm learning balance. Excellent, amazing, okay. Let's just see, there's something that wants to be said here. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's a little nuance here that wants to be said. Shutting it all down. I just want to get the right wording. Mm -hmm. Okay, the invitation here, right, is to, is to uh, observe why you're shutting it down. Are you shutting it down because I have chosen to experience peace? Or am I, are you shutting it down because like, ah, oh, it's too fucking much. Because <laughs> there's a little difference there. Is that there's a softness. Okay, and I love, and again, there's no right or wrong way to do it, for sure. Um, and I love that you're like, all right, I've shut it all down and now I'm starting to learn balance, right? So that when you do start to open up, that softness is there. I love that. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Um, Hannah says, yeah, I had to do a deep cord cutting ceremony and a zipper technique with a tapping release. Okay, yeah. There are loads of ways. There are loads of ways that we can do. There's so many different techniques. Absolutely. Um, what I want to work on here is like, how are you? How are you interacting with the energy? Okay, so. Um, like the zip up technique is a great technique tapping technique is a great technique grounding is a great technique all of these are, are incredible but how do you do it naturally right because you're honestly you're you're doing all of these things really naturally and you don't have to think about it okay I don't have to think about zipping zipping myself open I don't have to think about how I receive my sadness I just get sad I don't have to think about it, right? And so that's, I want it to get, I would love to, and that's kind of part of my purpose and my mission is to help people, especially empaths, get to this place where we're doing it naturally, where we don't have to think about it, where it's less of a struggle, right? Like, I, I don't want us to have to like wake up and be like, okay, I gotta zip up my aura and then I gotta do my tapping and I gotta drink my green juice and I gotta go for a run and then I'm like, ooh, right? 
how about we just do it really like just subconsciously and naturally that's kind of my vision and um that's that's my vision so thank you for listening thank you for listening as i kind of spoke that out and you know what that's the great thing about having places to speak okay about our experiences because we get to hear our own stories okay we get to be understood and seen and heard by other people who get it <laughs> Uh, and then we get to understand ourselves a little bit better because we've kind of, we've released, okay? And we've released naturally just by talking about it, any emotions attached to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's another thing that this program offers, by the way, is to have an empath who does this for a living. I mean, I'm an empath for a living. <laughs> um, and, to be ha and to have held, space held for you by other empaths. And to hear other empath stories and how they're playing with their energy, right? How, how, how are they journeying through this? So, all right. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, Carol says, it was too fucking much. It made me sick because I'd had too much. Absolutely. And who's to say that that's wrong, right? You, but you, you understood your physicality. I was too sick, and so you were able to shut it down. That's amazing. I'm going to like gold and gold rose for that. You were able to close it down. Okay, now we get to what we get to do is how? How did you close that down? <laughs> and now let's use that same technology to check what other portals are open and close those down too. <laughs> Right? And yeah, you're changing the way that you think and feel by, by, do, by repeating this and doing it and doing it openly and doing it together. You're changing the very way that you function on an energetic level. Hannah says, I don't, yeah, I have to be very intentional about it. I, absolutely. And that's kind of what my m m intention moving forward is, Hannah. Victoria says, I struggle because I work in an extremely negative environment where staff talk about others and then and then the sick people and it's rough cool yeah so this would indicate to me that you are extremely open okay and you you're you're absorbing and you're sucking okay and so first of all i hate i hate doing this on my computer it's harder <laughs> um so so what we get to do together, if you, if you choose to, is understand how, how you're sucking in and why, and then how to softly close that down. Okay, would, would that be helpful to you? <laughs> so the first step is to accept, like to, to see, I, I do this, I am sucking, okay? And by the way, you've kind of, you put yourself in that position for a reason, and the reason is probably like Carol, to get so sick of doing it that you do something about it. <laughs> Have you ever been so sick to death of yourself? <laughs> Where like, so when Carol's body was like, I'm so sick to death of this, I'm gonna close it down. And so like, Victoria, are you sick to death of this yet? Or are you ready to do something about it? All right, back to comments. Carol said it, it shut me down. I wish I could be so in tune, but let's let's learn. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> let's learn how to, how to do it. Because you've, you've just done it. You've just done it. And so now let's analyze how you've done it. Yeah, Victoria says, I've just gotten to where I don't want to go to work. A absolutely. Yeah. Don't wait till you get sick, says Carol. That's amazing advice. Okay, so... All right, um, I think I've said my piece, and thank you again for holding space for me because I just talked for a half an hour. <laughs> and let me know, let me know in the comments if you've if you've been seen and heard just a little bit more, if you've learned something or you've piqued your interest in something about yourself rather than seeing it as like a like an overwhelm or like I had to shut down or I feel sick. Like, have I peaked? And uh, what does that feel like? That little, oh, that little twinge of maybe there is some hope. Maybe, maybe I'm curious. Maybe I'm intrigued. Maybe I'm starting to see myself as more of a magical creature 
rather than a victim of all of this shit that's going on. And how does that feel in the body? Because for me, when I get like that, like, ooh. And so this is another empathetic hit, right? It's just like a, oh, I feel what she's saying. And if you've ever watched like an inspirational speaker or like Tony Robbins or Abraham Hicks or something, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh. And so now you've opened up a portal to the to, to, to potential. There's a potential for a change here. And I, and I think I want that. Do you get it? Because <laughs> I, 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 I'm just going to send over that frequency for you guys. And so here's another thing that you can do. Why don't you open up your empathy and fucking hone it in on me right now. And I'm going to send you through <laughs> the giddiness that I feel when I'm onto something. <laughs> when I'm like... Oh, that's an interesting way of looking at things rather than the way that I've looked at them before, right? And because I'm a scientist, and again, like this is all of this, like just blows my mind. And so, if you can open up, right, and focus that on me right now, you will, and I promise you, feel what I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is another thing I can teach you, okay? When we're in that closed down in a soft place, okay? And that's what I do as a reader, okay? When I read someone, when I'm a mentor for someone, I, 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 I kind of close down what I'm doing, right? And I come to peace and then I open up so that I can hold space for that person and so that I can understand what that person is, what, what experience that person is having so that I can be a better mentor for them. Okay. Who, did you feel it? Let me know in the comments. Did you feel it? Uh, <laughs> Carol always gets drunk when she's around me, which is funny. <laughs> Natasha says stars. Jordan says I want it. Jordan felt it. Victoria felt it. Sh Natasha felt it. Jody felt it. Good. Amazing. What a conversation. What a conversation to have. Don't you think? <laughs> Uh, Hannah says, every time I join one of your trainings, <laughs> yes, Carol says, it's a gift. I want to learn how to manage the gift. Yes, I felt the, the shift in your frequency, Carol. I'm fucking here for it. And this is why, this is how now I get like, I get so jazzed by helping Hannah felt it, by helping empaths and I get hot. See, if you're hot, that's, that's me. <laughs> um, I just get so fucking pumped. By helping empaths feel better, I'm gonna start getting emotional now. <laughs> okay, because when you when you feel better, I feel happy that you feel better. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> what a great conversation! Thank you again. I really, I love, I loved everyone who who hopped on. So, would you like a card now? <laughs> We've jumped a few different timelines in the last half an hour, which is nice. And it's really interesting, right? When, when if you're on live um, previously about like 40 minutes ago, I tried to do this on my phone. And for whatever reason, the technology wasn't working. And so I had to switch to my computer, right? And so I, ha I held no judgment about that. I'm just like, hmm, I wonder why, A, I wasn't allowed to start at 10, B, why I wasn't allowed to do it on my phone. C, why I'm having to like scroll down to read comments. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Carol's hot and smiling. George's got rosy cheeks. Davika got hot. Jody got hot. <laughs> no worries. Hmm. Okay, okay. So, yeah. We're using the Starseed Oracle, if I didn't mention that before. Um, so let's just, let's pull a card for everyone. Everyone who's on uh, through time and space. If you're watching the replay, this is for you as well. Is it that one? Okay. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Couldn't have chosen a better card. Okay, because this is what this is what I see in you. Hey, look me in the eyes. <laughs> this is what I see when I look at you. Okay, a multi 
multifaceted, highly gifted and unique energy and individual and human, okay? With so many gifts inside of you that I want to see them. A, I want to see them because I'm a scientist. B, I want to see them because I'm, I'm a data processor. That's, my, that's, that's who I am. Number three, I want to see them because then I can reflect them back to you. Four, I want to see them because I believe in humanity and what we're doing here. Okay, and, and by, by teasing out your gifts, and my gift, by the way, is helping people like you feel safe to explore their gifts. <laughs> and on a side note, <laughs> I'm also very good at this in the bedroom. I have learned. Um, I'm very good at holding space for people to explore their own sexuality, okay? <laughs> it's just part of my gift that I've just learned. Yay. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So helping you, holding space and helping you feel safe to explore those gifts and then use them because that's why we chose to have them, <laughs> right? We came here with these, with these particular gifts so that we can understand them and then use them for a purpose, which is generally to help humanity and the world and in evolution and ascension and right to make the world a better place honestly that's really it so this card is fucking amazing and i see you i see you and i want to see you and i would love to hold space for you so that you could understand yourself even more and then use your gifts for a purpose Okay, and not only me, but other empaths, because other empaths need to talk to other empaths so that they feel safe to be an empath, because we're, we're told that it's not okay to be an empath, and it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Victoria got teary. Yeah, okay, so let's go. Let's, yes. Who's first? Let's do Devika. Okay, let's just write this down. Devika, Victoria, Jody, Sally, Ashley. Oh boy. Okay, Ashley. I'm gonna try and get to everyone. Mhm. Mm uh huh. Carol. Jordan. <laughs> All right. Yay. How fun. So, Devika. Here is your card. Portal. Ooh. Ooh. Doors are opening. Ha, portal. <laughs> That's funny. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards wild card. Okay. So, I love that they've used this word portal that I was like not really enjoying the frequency of that particular word like right but that's okay let's use that word but they're just doors right portals have this mystical meaning they're just doors right and that's what we literally do as empaths we open up doors so that we can experience other people's emotions because if there was no opening there would be no flow of energy <laughs> okay so <laughs> so the first part of this card is doors are open Okay, as empaths, that's just a that's just a truth. Doors are open. Okay, and now you decide. You decide whether you want to keep them open or you want to close them. Is it in your highest good? Okay, and then you get to, like I was saying before, here's the journey. Close them down and then, okay, I want to open this portal so that I can experience what this person is experiencing. And then I'm going to close it down. And then I'm going to open a door like this door to experience a high frequency of love. And then I'm going to open this one to experience a high frequency of money, right? I'm going to experience a high frequency of emotional intelligence or joy, right? I'm going to open those doors, but you get to choose what you're doing. So that's the first layer of this. The second layer of this is we have opportunities being like shown to us all the time, okay? interesting so what they're actually saying is when you start to close down all of these portals that you have open and come to this place of, of rest right which is where you are Carol you get to be more present with the opportunities that are being present presented to you right and then what you do right when you have an opportunity presented to you what you can do is you can open a portal is that in my highest good 
Mm, no, close it down. And that's how you make a decision. Have you ever been faced with a decision and you're like, fuck, how do I make a choice between these two? You open up. So you probably, you're too open and you're looking at them at the same time through the same door. Close the door. Open a door on that decision. How does that feel? Open a door on that decision. How does that feel? And how does it feel in your body? Do I get attracted or repelled? And, and, or am I like, which one am I, am I feeling more like leaning towards? That's how you make a decision energetically. <laughs> just saying. Okay. Uh, let's just see. Whoop. <laughs> Uh, Davika's just saying, yay, 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 love and gratitude. Okay, yes. <laughs> so my question to you, Davika, would be, what, first of all, mm, mm, okay, there's a third layer to this card, is trusting huh, that, that doors are opening for you as a consciousness. No, and that feels really spacious, actually. Trusting that the right doors are opening for you and that you will trust yourself to walk through it and make that decision. I love this, like, last little nuance to this card because it felt like, it felt very calming. It feels so calming to make a decision for yourself. It is so empowering to make a decision rather than like having all these doors open and sucking and sucking and sucking I choose to open a door or I choose to see a door opening for me and to walk through it huh and do you feel the peace okay now now hone on me again feel the peace of empowering yourself to make your own decisions rather than be like having other doorways making your own decisions for you Feel that peace. Do you feel it? I feel it right here in my third eye. Let me know if you felt it. <laughs> okay. Do, do, do. Davika says, it helps a lot. Thanks. I go with it if it feels heavy or light. Genius. Carol says, thank you infinitely, infinitely for sharing these practices. You're so welcome. <clears throat> ha ha. <laughs> Hannah just says, oh my God, I just realized why I have such a hard time niching down in my business and defining things. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet. Victoria says, yes. Davika says, I see portals when sun hits my body. Woo -hoo! Awesome. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> Let's explore that. <laughs> I want all of you and here's another thing, right? I want all of you to play with me this summer because this experiment has me so jazzed and I want to see everyone's gifts. Like, I want to know why Davika sees portals when the sun hits her. <laughs> I want that. So I would love for all of you to play um, and come and like make love and money with me um, this, this summer. Um, and please do reach out to me if this is something that you are interested in because we, we do it together right we do it just like this but actually like in a zoom room where we all get to have a conversation and be like oh this oh that oh shit oh fuck <laughs> um and so like th like the power of this times a million because here's another little thing when you spend money on something and here's why i charge for what i do by the way the attention that you've given me in this little hour, and I should start wrapping it up. Um, when you have given, when you have invested some money, okay, the more money you invest, the more attention you give. Okay, so like, have you ever been to a free webinar and you're like, eh, this is pretty all right. But then if you've paid 50 bucks for it, you're like, oh, okay, I'm actually kind of concentrating a bit more. And then if you pay $1,000 for it, you're like, hyper-focused. <laughs> And if you pay a hundred thousand for it for like an hour, for example, my, my it's only six hundred and sixty-six dollars. The the program that I'm talking about. <laughs> Can you imagine the amount of focus you'd give to that person for an hour if you'd paid a hundred thousand dollars to to receive that? <laughs> so, yeah, the program six 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 for six weeks and six weeks more of uh, of support after that. All the sixes. I have a payment plan as well. The payment plan is three months at two forty-five a month. 
Um, so yeah, please do reach out. Okay. Uh, Davika is a sacred geometry person, and so am I. Okay, Jordan says, when I'm unable to make a decision and I feel like everything is swarming around me, it's because I need to close down the doors and trust myself to make the right choice. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because you are likely, right, you're, you likely have doors open to receive how other people are perceiving that decision. <laughs> right? Right? And that's why we're people pleasers, because we can feel, when we say no to someone, we can feel... And here's another thing, right? When we say no to someone, what we're meant to do, or what we, what we can do, is be like, no. Close that door. But what we do is we say, no. But we keep the portal open, because maybe we'll do it. <laughs> and then we can feel that person, how that person is judging us. And they do, they do judge us, because they, people want us to say yes, because we enable them. <laughs> right? And so when we have to make a decision, we have all these portals open, understanding how every single person who is going to be affected is affected by that one decision, and then it becomes overwhelming. So close it all down with love and compassion, okay? Like when I make a choice with and for my son, it's not like, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like a, no. Come to wholeness, come to peace, open up, make a decision. <laughs> right and that's why again this program's called making love and money because it's making love not with just romantic partners but your relationships and your life your children and your family and your spouses and your friends and people strangers on the street and that's why i've included money because money is just a relationship as well good question awesome question jordan <laughs> carol says that's an odd number <laughs> is it? Or is it just a number? <laughs> okay, cool. All right. <laughs> uh, so I chose 666 because it was a six week, six week program. We're going to start on the 6th of June, which is the sixth month. Um, and it's the six. So, so there's six weeks, six weeks of support, six of the sixth, 666. So actually it's seven sixes. <laughs> it's not just three sixes, it's seven. And so when I started to realize, oh, everything's happening on sixes, then I just chose 666 um, because that was, that was what was being reflected back to me. <laughs> yeah, so that's why. All right, Victoria, here's your card, babe. I need to leave in 13 minutes, so let's get through these next ones. <laughs> By the way, if you would like to donate to me for my time, I would love that. <laughs> While I do love coming on here and having these fun, free conversations, um, any exchange of energy, including uh, money, is absolutely cherished and appreciated. Okay, Victoria, here you go. And I can feel that this is going to be a bit of a heavier reading. Karmic relations, polarity, ooh, soul growth, and conflict. Yeah, I can feel, and I don't want to go too far deeply into someone's personal shit, but I can feel that you have been in a bit of a bit of a conflict, in a bit of a back and forwards, in a bit of a tumultuous time. And I can feel that, okay? And I and I have a lot of compassion for you. Mm, whew, okay. Ugh. What they want to say is that you are hmm, interesting. Okay. The, even though you don't know and you don't consciously know what's going on, okay, you've got processes happening in the background regarding karmic relationships and soul growth that are happening for you, okay? And even though it feels like shit. And you can't see through it and you can't understand it. It's happening. Okay. And so, huh, interesting. I wonder, and let's just, let's just throw this out there to see what happens. <laughs> Can we very gen very gently close? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Set up a boundary or a barrier so that all of this that's going on in the background behind you 
you don't actually feel so intensely. And this is, this is something that I've never kind of spoken before. Let's just see. Okay, so let's, can we give her some advice here, please? They're saying, how can you detach from it? Okay, and this is how we come to that place of, place of peace. This is, the, this is the invitation for you. To separate yourself from it and observe it from a place of neutrality and knowing, and I can guarantee you this at least, it's for your highest good and it's your soul processing and growing and transmuting your own shit, okay? Because we are here to process and, and transmute our own shit, not someone else's, okay? So that's what's happening. Uh, okay, can, okay, fine. So can you observe yourself from a place of compassion and know that what's happening is happening for your highest good? That's, that's just cliched, man. Can you give us some actual words? Ah, uh, okay, cool, thank you. Can you feel, mm, okay, cool. Can you feel what's going on in your body, right? That, ugh, I can feel like the, oh, it's just such a storm. Can you take it out and hold it in its own portal, in its own doorway, in its own container? And feel again, feel the peace that I felt. Because I was feeling your emotions, okay? I, t I removed it from my body and I'm holding it in its own container. Are you able to do that even if it's five minutes a day? Start with one minute. Start in the morning by taking it all that tumultuous fucking energy and, and just kind of remove it and take some breaths and observe it. What does it look like? What is the color? Can you describe it? Can you paint it? That's how we're going to start connecting in with it on a different level rather than using your emotions, okay? Using your other senses as well. Is that helpful? I think that's going to really help you. Yes, I feel it. Okay, Ashley, Ashley likes 666. <laughs> Jody was like, I was, gonna, I was gonna say, was there a reason behind the number? Uh, and Carol was like, I don't know. Now I've got to ask myself. Jordan says the only power a number has is what you fucking give it. <laughs> Amen, sister. Okay. Victoria says, yes, very much. Yes, I feel it. Okay. So I, I, I feel that you're an artistic person. I would invite you to take it, put it in this, its own little container, whatever that might look like, and really observe it. And like I almost observe the beauty of it because it is beautiful. I can see it. It's like a storm. Um, can we paint it? And can we paint it in such a way that it's showing the nuances of like the silver, you know, and the golds in that storm, not just the blacks and the darks and the grays, but like actually, huh, there is some beauty in this. That's an invitation. <laughs> All right, Jody. All right. Oof. I'm going to try. I'm going to go faster. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Victoria has, is explaining where the trauma is coming from. And I don't really like to air personal things in these public readings. Um, and so, Victoria, if you'd like to, let's have a little DM chat. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Jody. here's your card. Bam. Star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission and activation. Mm. Okay, I like this. The, the main word that's popping out for me, for you, for, for me, for you, Jody, is activation. <laughs> okay, I need to write that down. <laughs> it's like you're ready to activate those gifts and that's kind of I feel interesting I feel that's what you have received from this conversation is like yeah okay yeah I am actually re ready to activate it I'm just ready I'm ready to I'm ready to stop sucking in I'm ready to come to peace and I'm ready to to to, to use the gifts I'm ready to activate the gifts and I can feel that like there's not actually really any 
emotion attached to it. It's just a, it's a readiness. Anything else? And they're like, <laughs> they're like, you've made your mind up, just fucking do it. <laughs> Is that it, really? I feel really grounded in this word, and so, um, Jody, if you need any more kind of, if you need a little bit of homework, what I would do is like meditate on this word activation. <clears throat> How, uh, and what you can do is open up your channel and and bring in your guides and and all of these people and and allow them to help you and say, I'm ready for you to activate my gifts now. I'm ready for you to help me activate. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Thank you, Jody, for, for that. Yeah. Allowing, allowing the energy of your highest good from the stars, for example, from the crystal grid of the earth, from your own, from your own gifts. I'm ready to be activated. I wonder what would happen if you said that every morning for a month. <laughs> or I'm not, how about I am activated? I am already activated. That was cool. <laughs> okay, I hope that's helpful. Oh, why is this so hard? <laughs> yes, uh, okay. Jody says, absolutely. Challenge accepted. I am ready. This is ab absolutely perfect. Lovely, lovely. <clears throat> hey, Karen, hope you're well. I'm well. We're just rounding up. You're so welcome. Aw, Carol, you're such a... You're amazing. So Carol just says that she doesn't, I don't need a card anymore. That last card was beautiful. <laughs> Poppy says, thanks for your time. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. <laughs> okay, so Ashley, are you still here, Ashley? I feel like Ashley might have left. Oh no, Ashley's here. All right. All right, Ashley. Let's get you a card. And then Jordan. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and then Jordan, are you still here too? Because then we'll then we're gonna wrap up. <clears throat> Ooh, Ashley. Huh. Perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. Okay. And so this kind of reflects back to what we were talking about with Jody. Uh, not Jody. Sorry, Victoria. Can we? Can we? observe what's going on in our life from a different perspective can we zoom out on it because then you kind of like i don't i have zero empathetic response to the earth there do you i'm like okay that's the earth but then hang on let's see if i can do it i have more and more and Come on. This is why I don't like this. I have more and more and more and more and more of an emotional response to the earth as it gets closer. Do you feel that? Look at that. I feel more towards the earth when it's closer versus far away. That was a cool experiment. <laughs> right? Huh. I feel nothing towards it. Oh! <laughs> Hang on, sorry. I'm having too much fun. No, you guys are too fun. So, um, so actually, is there something happening in your life that you're having a deep emotional response to that I wonder if you can pull out and look at it until, right? And pull it out until you stop feeling the strong emotional attachment to it. Take a breath and then look at it. Huh. And then bring it close. Do I have, oh, yep. <laughs> I still feel it. So how far away does it have to, to does it have to be for you to to start having a rational response to it? No, I'm not saying that emotions are irrational, but they are. <laughs> but they're beautiful in their ir irrationality, right? Did you did you guys feel that at all? That was kind of a really fun thing. Yeah, Ashley says. Carol says that was so cool. <laughs> Ashley was like, zoom out, I'm too close to it, 100%. Poppy got, Poppy felt it. <laughs> okay, cool. Ashley says, right, gotcha. Makes sense. Love it. I think that we don't need to say anything else about that. That was really, <laughs> that was really fun. Thank you. I want to hang out. I basically just want to hang out. This, the, this, this program coming up 
is like just an invitation to hang out with me for six weeks. <laughs> do you want that? I do. <laughs> All right, Jordan, let's close this baby down. Thank you very much. Ah, nice. I like, I love this to, to round out the session. Surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. And so for Jordan in particular, I actually feel like that you're really good at this already. You, can, you do see the beauty and you do feel the pleasure and you do love the love and you do find joy in the joy. Um, okay, anything, anything else for her? Hmm. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Purpose never comes through for me because it's such a personal thing. Well, they're just like they, What they just said was like, you, you get to teach others how to do that too. <laughs> like that's kind of maybe a part of your purpose and your mission here is to like help others and show others how to make love to life. And again, like it's really rare that that would come through for me. Um, and so thank you for, sh for sharing. Thank you for your guides for allowing that to come through me. So um, let me just see if there's anything else. Okay. It's just, I feel like that's just kind of shifted your perspective on who you are. Like I'm here to show people how to love themselves and how to love life and how to find pleasure and joy. Let me know if that resonates. I'm not telling you what your purpose is. That's not my job. Um, and I certainly don't want to, <laughs> if that resonates, then amazing. And if it doesn't, amazing. <laughs> but for the rest of us, and to close down this, this hour, <sighs> that's really what, I mean, my purpose is as well. Um, and, and as someone who may surrender into the sweetness is not in my DNA. <laughs> it is not one of my natural gifts. Okay. Yes. One of my natural gifts is to seek out fun and joy and pleasure, but it was more a counteraction to the dark, deep well that I have inside of me. Okay. So my duality is really big. <laughs> um, and so I, I help people by like diving into their darkness, move into their lightness and accept both of them as well, which is why this empathy program is like, it's why we're talking about both. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we all get to teach people different, like, basically the same things in a different way, right? We're, we're all really here, especially as empaths, to help people, to help people feel better <laughs> secretly because that helps us feel better as well. <laughs> um, but we all, and okay, this rounds out this perfectly. Thank you so much. That's why I do what I do is to help people understand their specific and unique gifts and their purpose. Okay, because yes, the higher purpose is generally the same to make the world a better place, but it's how you do it in particular that is important to me. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Okay, I'm just going to check in with you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I need you too, Jordan. <laughs> Thank you, Poppy. Just noticed my sacred geometry on my arm. It's a it's a pentacle with some Norse um, geometry as well. So yeah, it's just I, I got it when I was eighteen. Didn't really realize it's a portal, but okay. <laughs> I love my portal. <laughs> okay. Um, for anyone else who's just hopped on late, I have been on for an hour and five, so I must leave. Thank you so much for everyone who has held space for me. Um, and who has, you know, given and, and taken uh, energy and reciprocated. Oh, wow. <sighs> Jordan felt this passionately. Her hands were vibrating. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're a badass. <laughs> so thank you so, so, so much. This is going to be on my YouTube uh, along with all of my other videos. So if you want to check it out, just Google uh, or search on YouTube Haley Freya Wilson. I, I'm also all over the, the Spiritual Awakening group in Facebook. I have my own Facebook page. I have my Instagram. If you want to connect, just DM me, okay? I'm very available to have chats. 
Um, and as always, have a beautiful day because it's the only one that we've got. I love you so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs>